Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm Jan and in this video series you will learn how to get your Anycubic i3 Mega down from this volume. To this volume. In the first part we will swap the pre-installed drivers for much quieter TMC2208 drivers, we will install a new fan duct and a quieter fan to cool the drivers better and get the 3D printer quieter. In the second part, we will replace the entire power supply cover and the power supply fan. In the third and last part we will change the fan of the o -tend. Let's get started. This is the first part of the video series, so we will swap the pre-installed drivers for TMC2208 drivers and add a new fan and fan duct. For this you need 5 pieces of TMC2208 stepper motor drivers, box you now need the fan, the mounting rubbers, and the cable labeled 3 colon 2 pin adapter. Last but not least, you need two hex keys. First you disassemble the old fan by unscrewing the following two screws on the top of the 3D printer. Unplug the power supply connector from your 3D printer, then turn your 3D printer over and open the cover by disassembling all 10 screws. Then it's time to remove the old drivers and install the new ones. I would recommend that you first take a photo of the old, installed drivers so that you always know how to install them. Then disassemble only the first two or three old drivers. Then see in which direction you have to install the new drivers by comparing the labels of the drivers. Often you also have to rethink, because the driver labels are once on top and the other time underneath. It is best to take your time here and check several times whether you have installed the new drivers the right way round. Next, you need to set the driver voltage. To do this, plug in your 3D printer and turn it on. Please do not touch any parts of the power supply, because there are very high voltages and this is life threatening. You now adjust the driver voltage by holding one side of the voltage meter to a ground plug while holding the other plug to the screw for adjusting the driver voltage. You may have to turn the first time very often in one direction until the driver voltage changes, but after that you may only make small turning movements, because the driver voltage changes very fast. For the drive voltages I chose 0.95 volts for the X dash, Y and Z axis and 1.1 volts for the extruder. I had no problems printing with this, but if your 3D printer forgets steps, then you should slightly increase the driver voltage for the axis step by step. If you have installed the drivers the right way around, 
you may still have to change the direction of rotation of the motors. This is the case if the labels of the drivers do not match the motors. The motors are usually labeled 1A, 1B, 2A and 2B. However, you can simply test whether the motor direction is correct or not by reassembling the printer, plugging the power supply connector back in, turning the printer on, and letting the motors move. If the motor direction is reversed, there are three ways to fix this. The first way is to adjust the motor direction in the firmware. The second way is to cut the back plate of the connectors on the board so that you can install the connector the other way around. The third possibility is to rotate the cables. I chose the third option because it doesn't require you to change anything in the firmware or break anything else. I will now explain step by step how you have to proceed to change the motor rotation direction with the third possibility. The first step is to loosen the plugs. Then take the two outer plugs and replace them. Then you change the two inner plugs, and the motor direction is changed. Again, I would advise taking a photo beforehand so you can check what the original slot assignment was if you get confused when swapping drivers, which can happen. Now we will install the fan duct and a new fan for the new TMC2208 drivers. To do this, first print out the fan duct on your 3D printer. In the video description you will find a link to download the 3D model. If you want to support me, you can make me a price offer, what you are willing to pay for the 3D model. Of course, you can also download it for free and support me with a subscription and a like. First you disassemble the old fan by unscrewing the following two screws on the top of the 3D printer. After that, turn your 3D printer around and open the cover. Now you can simply remove the fan and unplug the connector. Remember where the fan was connected, because that is where you will connect the new fan later. To mount the new fan, 
put the mounting rubbers through the four holes of the printed fan duct. Afterwards you put the fan on the mounting rubbers and the fan duct only has to be installed. For this you have to loosen the following two screws. After that you mount the fan duct exactly as I show you. Now you mount the two screws again and the fan duct is ready. Now put the 3 colon 2 pin adapter on the fan and plug the 2 pin connector where the original fan was connected. Last step is to close the cover. In the second part, we will replace the entire power supply cover and the power supply fan. In the third and last part we will change the fan of the O10. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for free. Please comment down below if you have any questions or ideas.